Hello everyone, welcome to This Time Tomorrow with the Anderson family. Hello everyone, this is Joel, he's my brother, and in September he's going into year nine. And this is Josie, she's 16, and she's about to start in the sixth form at secondary school. Um, this is mum, and dad's not here, they're both teachers, dad works on a farm school and mum works at a primary school. Okay, so what are we going to be doing this time tomorrow? Uh, we're going to be going to a friend's house early in the morning. Making the most of the summer holidays because we're all off from school at the moment. Okay, so what's the next <coughs> question? Um, how does God use you in your jobs? Okay, so I think that's a question for me. Um, so um, when I'm at school working with the children, um, God uses me in all kinds of ways, in the way that I can um, help the children and the way that I treat the children. Um, because I'm special needs coordinator, I have lots of opportunities to work with parents and people who work from different agencies. So it's a good opportunity, especially to give pupils who may be disadvantaged in some way the best opportunities that they can have um, and also because I'm mainly not in class I work around the school I have a little bit more time to build relationships <coughs> with lots of children so I do that and then also when I've been working at APF although um, this week's my last week there um, God's been able to use me to help um, all sorts of pastors and their families in East Africa um, to, have to be equipped for the work that they're doing. Um, so small things like um, we were able to recently help a, a family um, who needed some maternity costs being paid for the hospital. So I was able to send some money to help that family, so to make a real difference for them. Okay, so, um, Tell us about your experiences in lockdown over the five months. So let's start with you, Josie. Yeah, so my experience of lockdown has been a mixture of things. I was supposed to be doing my GCSEs this year, but they were cancelled because of the pandemic, which I suppose is a bit of a negative because I wasn't actually allowed to do the exams to get my grades. But it's turned out all right because I got my grades today well Thursday when <laughs> you see this and they were all good which I suppose has been a positive but generally in lockdown I've had a lot of time to do things that I want to do and relax a bit more because I haven't had any school work so I've been making dresses done some reading done lots of cooking yeah it's been good I've been able to go out sometimes and see my friends which has also been nice. And what about you, Joel? What's been the tricky things, but also the good things about the lockdown? Well, the tricky things have really mostly been about school. I've not been able to go, so we've had online like teaching, and some of the teachers haven't got the hang of it, but uh, they'll learn. Um, <laughs> but we, on the other hand, we have been having fun we've been going out and going out for dinner and stuff I've been camping in the back garden for about a week um we went on holiday and we went in the sea quite a bit so I suppose that's good and for me um I've done lots of things that I've never had to do before <coughs> um in my work context so we've all learned lots of new IT skills we've all had to do things that we've never done before and um, so that's been a nice challenge um, it was quite tricky juggling working full-time with um, helping Joel with his schoolwork and helping Josie to be motivated to get yeah, up in the did. morning um, <laughs> so that was quite a challenge um, and also I, it was quite hard not seeing people in the same way that we normally would but I think we've done some things that we wouldn't have done before. Joel and I have learned to play lots of um, new card games that we didn't do before. And we went, we've been out on lots of walks and had a lot more exercise than we probably would do normally. So that's been a good. 
Okay, what's our final question, Jace? Yeah, so what encouragement can you offer the church at this time? Okay, so I would say that um, I've been really encouraged by various people in the church, but also family too, um, that have made the effort to keep in contact with me over the lockdown. And that's been a real encouragement. Maybe it's just been a text message or a WhatsApp message or perhaps um, a phone call. And I've really valued that. And I do think that um, we're not over this period of time yet and it's going to carry on for a lot longer. And I can see around society that there's a lot of um, social disconnection happening. People are becoming disconnected with each other and that social life that we used to experience from seeing each other isn't quite the same anymore. So as an encouragement to you, I would encourage you to just keep contacting people, maybe just one person a week that you wouldn't normally um, make contact with. Send them a text message, write them a letter, phone them up. We, we were really good at that at the beginning of this time, um, but let's keep going in with it now. OK, I think that's it for us, yeah. isn't it? And we hope to see you all soon. Bye. Bye.